So this incident lasted for eight hours, I guess occurred yesterday, probably after business hours, I think, in the United States, with initial recovery starting as Microsoft engineers rolled back uh, the faulty configuration and rerouted network traffic. So they fixed it pretty quick, but it took them eight hours to do it. That's probably not pretty quick. That's that's pretty far, pretty, pretty much... Uh, uh-oh. Uh, in other words, I think if they get a fix in, it would happen in a few minutes, not not eight hours. Uh, by the early hours of October 30th, uh, Microsoft reported services were largely restored and the Azure front door was operating at 98% capacity, uh, although some users were experiencing uh, residual issues. Um, and that's how I heard of it. So in other words, uh, the reporters woke up this morning, the tech, the tech press uh, outage again, uh, you know, the calling you know, the cloud computing, SMEs, experts, what have you. And I'm one of a bunch of people they're going to call. And it's the first time I heard of it. So I didn't see, uh, you know, something, you know, come across my news feed yet until this morning. But it was evidently something that was fairly far reaching. It doesn't seem to be as serious as the AWS outage last week. But that's just my my feeling of it based on the impact that's coming back to me from people who are using the systems. But any outage, I think, is going to cause a huge financial impact. It's going to have a cascading effect. And certainly in the supply chain, all the uh, different systems that are dependent on that cloud provider are going to cease to work. They're going to lose money. Customers who are using those systems are going to lose money because the systems aren't available to them. 